when trouble come in waves? What, what do you do when trouble comes in waves? I, I want you to look at your neighbor real perplexed like and ask them, what do you do when trouble comes in waves? Father, we praise you and we thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you. Lord, we ask you now most humbly. Move James out of the way. Hide me behind thy cross. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be holy and acceptable in thy sight. For thou art my rock and my redeemer. Lord, from the introduction to the conclusion, please speak to us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. What do you do when trouble comes in ways. Yes, My dear, sometimes trouble comes in waves. So much so that you find yourself bracing and wondering what's next. Sometimes it comes through phone calls. It used to be a time you could ride around back in the day. Miss Angela would know about this back in the day. You could ride around and you wouldn't get the message till you got home. But now, with the advent of these cell phones, you could be going to the restroom with the phone in your hand and can find yourself falling on your knees from the grief that you hear from the person on the line. You, you just can't get around it sometimes. Just the phone going off at midnight. You know, you're wondering, who is this? Are the kids okay? Are my friends okay? How's my mom and my daddy? How are the grandkids? The phone is ringing at 12 and 1 o'clock in the morning. It's enough to make your heart start racing and your heart palpitating. Trouble has a way of not knocking at the door, but pounding at the door like the popo. Uh, and, and if you've never experienced it, you, you ought to be jumping up right now giving God an unusual praise. Because if you live here long enough, you start recognizing that trouble is not down the street. Trouble sometimes is in the backyard. Yeah. Amen. Job 14 and 1 says, man that is born of a woman mm -hmm. is but a few days, and those days are full of trouble. Yeah. Tr trouble don't just stand at your door and knock. It, mm, right. yeah. And you don't have to answer because it'll kick the door in mm -hmm. and say, I'm here. Ready or not, you got to deal with it. And there have been some times when trouble came to my residence. Mm -hmm. Trouble will make you walk the floor all night long. Amen. Amen. Trouble, you can have a, 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 a Miss Ernie, you can have pot roast on and potatoes in it and carrots and you can have cornbread in the oven and have Kool-Aid in the ox, an ice box. Right. But when trouble show up, Amen. you lose your appetite. I wish I had help this morning. It's amazing how trouble has a way of taking all your joy away. Trouble has a way of depressing us. Trouble, as Reverend Timothy Wright said, the late Timothy Wright, trouble don't last. I want you to look at your neighbors. I don't know what you're going through right now, but I want you to be encouraged that your trouble has a deadline. I wish I had help here. Your trouble has a line of demarcation that it cannot cross. Trouble has a deadline. I don't know when the deadline is going to come, but God has it so set the same way waves cannot go past the boundary. Trouble is there for a purpose. Let trouble have its perfect work, but you got to understand trouble will not last Always. One writer said, weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. I felt that, y'all. That we 
sleeping may endure for a night. And that does not mean one night. That does not mean 12 hours. That means a season. It may last two, three months. It may last even a year. We went through a whole year of trouble. But I'm starting to believe this more and more that God has a line set up for this pandemic will not be the cross. God has it in his hands. Trouble will not last always. Trouble will not last always. You, you ought to put a big smile on your face. I don't care what you're going through, but you got to prophesy to your own self. But you don't need nobody prophesying to you. You got to prophesy to your own self and say, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. And somebody has said, it's got to get better. I, I, I'll go either way with you. It's got to get better. It's going to get better. But one thing I do know is that God has it under control. Yes, right, man. Right. My dear, this is exactly where my boy Hezzy, that's King Hezekiah, Hezzy mm -hmm. finds himself. He's 39 years old. Right. You may be saying that 39 is not young. It's not old. But in the Jewish culture, you weren't grown until you were 40. They believe that up to the age of 40, you made a lot of foolish mistakes. Yes. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> let's talk. <laughs> if the truth be told, a lot of us have made some foolish mistakes. And we've gotten past 40. And if we're not careful, and we're not praying, we can still make some foolish mistakes, but in the Jewish culture, Amen. you would not consider grown till you got 40 years old. Hence, Moses being called from Egypt yes. with his assignment. Why would he wait till he's 40? Because he wasn't grown till he was 40 years old. And you ought to look at your neighbors and neighbor. I know that sounds far-fetched, but it takes time to grow up. Yeah. I wish I had helped him. And I hear young ladies saying all the time, you know, young men don't grow up as fast as young ladies. That's true and then that's untrue. Because I've run into some young ladies that were silly as a teenager. And I've seen some old men that was that was silly as a teenage boy. I'm just trying to tell you, wisdom does not have anything to do with gender. Wisdom has what how much time you spend with God because God has a way of making us wise. Look at your neighbor and say, God has a way of giving us wisdom that we don't have to keep falling in the same
alternatives. Either you're going to get old or you're going to get up out of here. Look at your neighbor and say, ain't nothing wrong with getting old as long as you got God's grace on you. Still able to walk, still able to talk, I wish I had him. Still able to use your faculties, I wish I had help. It's a blessing to start aging. Don't look at it like that. You ought to give God glory that he's decided to leave you here. 39 years old. Set down a thus saying the Lord God. Set thy house in order. Thou shalt die and not live. What does Hezekiah do? Because trouble is coming waves. Yes. Jurgen Moulton, the great theologian, said this in his book, The Living God and the Fullness of Life. Quote, the enjoyment of God, the fruitio day, is the enjoyment of life. When you got life, you got the enjoyment of God. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's raining outside. Yeah. You have that Latin term, the fruitio day. You have the enjoyment of God because you have the enjoyment of life. It's a beautiful thing to be alive. Hey, sure I want you to look at somebody this morning because sometimes we don't tell God thank you. Can you tell them, girl, I thank you. Man, I thank God I'm still here. Yeah. You ought to look at somebody and say, I thank God I'm still here. I complained, I get mad, I get upset, but I thank God he don't cut me off. I thank God. Yeah, I thank God for the high electric bill. I, I thank God for a high water bill. I, I thank God I can see it. I wish I had him. And even though I don't want to pay it, I thank God I can pay it. Sometimes you just got to start telling God, I just thank you. I just give you, he ought to just give God a thank you, praise Lord. I just thank you for everything you do in my life. One time I came downstairs at the house, and I was coming downstairs, and God just, he just jumped on me. The spirit didn't say, you need to start thanking me. You need to thank me for all I've done in your life. In some kind of way, you've forgotten to really give me a thank you. Because sometimes you can tell a person, yeah, I thank you. They just gave you a car. Yeah, I thank you. But that ain't the kind of prayer. You, you forgot how often you walked. Yeah, if you ever think about how great this gift is, you'll start acting different. If you've been walking and catching the bus all your life, nah. and somebody give you a car, yeah. and all you say is thank you, you need to go back to walking. Yeah. Because if I've been walking my whole life, oh, yeah. and somebody give me a car, yeah. I'm about to act a fool for the Lord. Oh, no. Let me talk to God. Yeah. 
And if God wants me to hook up with this friend of yours, God will make sure that happens. Because if God hooks it up, we can get to the altar. But if, we, if God don't hook it up, all I'm going to have is a disappointment. That's right. That's it. I need to look at your name and say, let God do the hooking up. Hezekiah prayed. And he was specific in his prayer. He turned his face to the wall. All right. Well, in, in, in Eastern culture, the best seat in the house was the one in the corner. Lord, yeah. have mercy, huh? Well, yeah. the folks who went to the club, they always put their back in the corner. Ha! Because if something jumped off, they wanted to be able to see everything in front of them. Right. Ms. Angela said, you ain't lying about that. <laughs> and, 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 and so the best seat in the house was in the corner. So Hezekiah being king, he was already in the corner. All he did was turn his face to the wall. Because this was not about anybody but he and his God. Yeah. Yeah. And that's sometimes you can't even tell your spouse what you're going through. Amen. Sometimes you can't tell your children. Sometimes you can't tell your best friends. Sometimes it's so personal that it's a conversation that you and God must have alone. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and he prayed. Yes, 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 yes. What did he say? Because he was specific. He said, remember now. Uh -huh. right. He and God had a relationship. Lord, Can yes. you imagine getting bad news and you got to introduce yourself to God? Lord, have mercy. How you doing, God? Uh -huh. I'm James. I know I... I know I, I know I ain't talked to you in years. I, I know I know I, I could have went to church, but I was I was fishing on Sundays. I know I'm wrong, you know. And, and I, I know I know I know I know. But God, I, I I need you now. And see, Big Mama told me Big Mama ain't been gone forty years, but Big Mama told me before she left here forty years ago. Big Mama told me that you could hear my prayer. And, and now I need you. Now, can you imagine? Needing God, and you you don't even know God, and you, you're not even sure God know you. But Hezekiah says, remember now. In other words, you and I, we here. Yes. We got a relationship. Remember now, oh Lord, I need you now. My Lord. Time is of an essence. I need you right now. Yes. Oh Lord, I beseech thee. That means I beg of you. Yes. How I have walked before thee in truth. You know I have walked in your commandments. You know I have carried myself through everyday activities. Not just on Sundays, not just on Saturdays, but Monday through Sunday, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, I kept you in my heart. Yeah. And I walked before you with a perfect heart. I have done right in thy sight. Yeah. And Hezekiah cried out loud. Uh -huh. He prays a 30 word prayer. Yeah. Word. 16 words. Turn this world upside down. And we're going to find out that a 30 word prayer turned his life back upside right. Can I preach it like I feel it? Yeah. 16 words turned this world upside down. Yeah. But a 30 word prayer turned his life upside right. Yeah. My dears, if Hezekiah does not pray, he dies. Sometimes praying is life and death. A lot of things would have happened to us if somebody wasn't praying for us. Grandma's prayers are still around the altar. Grandpa's prayers are still around the altar. Mama's prayers are still around the altar. If Hezekiah does not pray, Hezekiah dies. Lord Jesus. That was the will of God. Yeah. And you hear people saying all the time, be careful with this. Hmm. Well, it's just God's will. No, let's pray. That's yeah. right. Yeah. We don't know if God's going to change his mind. That's right. When God sent that word by Isaiah, that was God's will. Yeah. Hezekiah prayed. Begged, cried, and the Lord heard his prayer. Bring me to my second point. God heard, 
I mean, prayer heard. Prayer heard. God tells Isaiah, Isaiah's not even at the court yet, Miss Angela. Isaiah, he walked. Man, can you imagine that was a cold blooded prophet, wasn't it? He dropped 16 words on a Mr. Drake. God said, set your house in order, but you're going to die and you ain't going to live. He ain't giving no damn, he ain't hugging, he didn't give no hand to the wife his tears. Just Turn around. Out the door. That's it. And while he's walking out, God speaks to him again All right. and tells him to go back and tell Hezekiah, I've heard your prayer, huh. I've seen your tears, and I'm going to add 15 years onto your life. Wow. 15 years mm -hmm. he would not have had if he had not prayed. Yes, yes. What have we forfeited by not praying? Lord have mercy. What, what have we forfeited by, I, I'm not going to bother God about it. It must be his will. Pray! Because you never know what God is going to do. Yes, yes. 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 Man, what gets me, it's not so much about heaven. Huh. I thank God he prayed. But what I love about God is his mercy. Yes. Because you can pray all day long. But you can't make God do anything he don't want to do. You can't give your way enough to make God do what he want to do. You can't tithe enough to make God do what he don't want to do. God is God all by himself. Watch this. It's not so much about Hezzy. It's about the love of God. How God listens to his child. How God Did you imagine they going to call him Miss Angela? Uh -huh. <sighs> Say, Mama, I need this. Bust out and start crying. You think Miss Angela going to tell her, girl, you got a husband? You think she's going to tell her, no, I ain't. You grown. No. She's going to do what God did. She's going to hear what she got to say. And even though it's on the phone, she's going to see them tears. That's right. That's it. She's she going to see it. And she's going to feel it too, yeah. That's right. And, 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 and going to see the mucus running out of her nose, even though it's via telephone. That's right. Because she's going to be that in tune to her child. All I'm trying to say is that's how in tune God is to us. But a lot of times we act like we don't know it. Hezekiah is a dead man if he doesn't pray. And God, God hears his prayer. God sees his tears. And God adds 15 years on his life. What that tells me is when I look at that is, is that God is watching me. God hears me. And as Miss Wren just told me, God feels me. Can I say that one more time? That felt good, Miss Irving. God hears me. God sees me. And God feels me. That's it. That's right. there, there, are there are times that people are here. That's right. right by you. Right. right by me. They don't see us. Right. They don't That's hear it. us. Right. And they don't feel us. That's it. That's it. I, I wish I had help here. You could be going through one of the worst trials in your life. And they got so much going on that they don't even see you. They don't hear you. And they don't even feel you. What's wrong? Nothing. And they leave it right there because they don't, want, they don't even know that there's something deeper going on. But God sees me. God hears me. And God feels me. I wouldn't serve a God that couldn't hear me. I wouldn't serve a God who couldn't see me. I wouldn't serve a God who couldn't feel me. Bring me to my third point, my final point. I'm letting you go. After. God, while God was talking to him, God's response is long. You got to read it. But my third point is this. Yes. Prayer saves. Yes, it does. My third point is through. Come on. It ain't long at all. Hmm. Prayer saves. Yes, right. Because Hezekiah had a prayer on the altar. Yes, yes. He said, now. Yeah! Yes. 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 Yes
children. This prayer saved the nation. Assyria was running roughshod over people. They, 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 how do they say it? They was kicking backsides and taking names. They, they were just walking in. Miss Miss Angela got a beautiful necklace, so they just walk in, just take. Yeah. Couldn't nobody stop them. But this prayer saves the nation. So why do you get the subject when trouble comes in like waves? I'm glad you asked, and I'm through. He already had that on his mind. How am? How are we going to keep? The Assyrians from coming in and making us all slaves. Yeah. You have to understand this so when you read the culture, when kings and soldiers from other nations came in, the first thing they did was rape your wives and your daughters. That's a shame. Mm -hmm. that, that was the first thing they did. Mm -hmm. So Hezekiah and the men of that nation got that grief on them. Mm -hmm. I'm just keeping it real. When they come in, you already know. You can't stop them. They raping your wife. Mm -hmm. They raping your children. They raping your grandchildren. You are right there watching as they kill. When they get ready to kill you, you see them raping them and taking them in as their slaves. He's got to. They're gonna take everything from you. Mm -hmm. Nobody. You, you. You know. Hezekiah is crying because he recognizes we don't have the strength to stop them. And there's some things in life you and I don't have the strength to stop. Okay. We can you know our chest all we want, but there's some trouble if we tell the truth about it. We can't stop it. There's some trouble if we tell the truth about it will make us fall down on our face and cry. Hezekiah receives the report and I'm through. He receives the report. We coming. Ain't nothing y'all can do about it. I saw your Navy. I looked at your Air Force. I looked at your Israeli Marines. Y'all can't stop what we about to bring to y'all. He got that on his head. Isaiah walks in while he's already going through trouble. And here come another wave. Here come another wave. And you're going to die. And you're not going to live. He didn't have the best doctor in the world. He had God. Yeah. He didn't have the best military strategist. Mm -hmm. He had God. That's all, you need. all I'm saying, St. Paul, we've got to pray. That's right. Yeah. Like we really are God's children. That's right. 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 Because He will hear us. Right. He will see us. Okay. And as Miss Ram and Miss Linda told me, He will feel us. That's right. Amen. Amen. Amen.